The Sonic fandom has been almost universally regarded as the worst fan base in history, alongside FNAF and My Little Pony. But is it really that bad? I mean, sure, the community has stuff like Chris Chan, but also had legends like Christian Whitehead and Tyson Hess, both who started up with fan projects and ended up working in the Sonic franchise. Now let me make this clear. Every single fandom has dark side. Every single fandom has legends. I'm not making this to shit on any part of the fandom, but just to explore the good and the uh, questionable. And because you wanted it, we're starting with the questionable part. Uh, first of all, I am not going over the furry fandom. That's, that's a whole different kind of worms I'm not opening. Now to start off, I think it'll be pertinent to actually analyze Sonic itself. Maybe to understand why is it so fucking appealing to people. I mean, just look at him. He has his green eyes, his pretty cool shoes, that giant finger. I can see why people like him, or even love him. What I can understand, however, is why people would want to fuck him. Yes, folks. Just like there's people wanting to fuck everything, there's people out there who would love to ream Sonic's little pusshole. And you know what? Whatever. To each their own, I guess. I'm not here to kink shame. But there's people who take it a bit too fucking seriously. Now, if you're a true OG, you might remember that Muda, Kyle, Ace, and me talked about something called Sonic Passion, a site dedicated to the sole fantasy of fucking Sonic and his friends, with people sharing their, uh, things. The site was administrated by someone called Alex Henriol. Now, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, this site is fucking insane. These people actually had certificates of marriages to Sonic characters, like Alex, who was married to Sonic, and was very, very dedicated. <coughs> <clears throat> For Sonic, break my heart, destroy my soul, and leave me crying. I'd still love you, and I don't expect you to love me in return. If I can't have you, I'll just be single for the rest of my life. These lonely nights are hard to get through. I will keep you in my eyes by making you a dream. Even though you're not here and nowhere to be found, my heart says you're still here and everywhere to be found. Words are just not enough to tell you how much you mean to me and how much I need you by my side all my life. You have touched my life in ways others can't even think of. If you have the courage to love, you have the courage to suffer. True love is a wonder that has no end or beginning. No matter how hard things seem, true love will lead you through it. Never underestimate the power, because love can do miracles which you never thought possible. The greatest love story that was ever told could be me and you. You just never know. You are my soulmate, my sweetheart. My dream come true. For now, until the end of time, I will give my heart and soul to you. You can love and love as many times as you want, but with the same person. The first time I saw you, I knew it was true. That I'd love you forever. And that's what I'll do. You don't know what you do to me. You don't have a clue. You don't know what it's like to be me, me looking at you. Death cannot kill what is not measured by time. I'll love you forever. And when I die, whatever part of me is left will love you far beyond eternity. There's no limit of why I wouldn't do for you. Just ask, and it will be done. No matter the miles, no matter the sacrifice, I love you. You'll always be in my heart. Love has no limits and no regrets. I will love you for the rest of my days. I will love you beyond the world as we know it. Beyond forever, beyond always. Loving you is what I was put here to do. True love is not measured by how much sacrifice is done but by how long you can sacrifice for true love. True love has no measure, for it is immeasurable. I was born to love only you. My soul has formed you to its measure. I want you as a garment for my soul. Your very image is written on my soul. Such indescribable intimacy. I hide even from you. All I have, I owe to you. For you I was born. For you I live. For you I must die. And for you I give my last breath. Will I wait a lonely lifetime? If you want me, I will. Love knows no boundaries, even after death. Now, as far as that's completely sane, it was sweet. It was sweet. Let, 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 uh, let's just tackle a little bit more, huh? See what more can we can find. I'm not gay, but there's something about Sonic's... Uh... Hello, this is cool and all, but Shadow's not gay? I would have sex with him, but it would mess up his reputation oh yeah because shadow has a great reputation you know what fuck it never mind let's just go back to the author of the first story maybe we can read something else by her all of the above i want him to trample me i want him to 
vomit in my mouth. I want him to piss shit and snot. Oh boy. Well, you know what? I'm not going over every single detail in this shit. You can go visit her on your own. Well, now, how about a little bit of art, huh? One of the best ways to show appreciation for something you love is to draw fan art of it. And Sonic, well, you know, it's no stranger to fan art. Now, to be honest, most of these fan arts are pretty dang great. Now, I could go on and on about the countless recolors and OCs and Google your own name but add the hedgehog on the end and shit, but that would just be beating a dead horse, to be honest. I'm going to a realm I'm more familiar with, comics. Now, for Sonic Comics, we got the best of the best. We had the longest running comic, we got a pretty dang good reboot, and then we got an image of something, something you might have seen, but probably don't know where it originates from. Actually, no, fuck that, fuck everything about that, nope. How about games? The Genesis of Sonic, that's what he was created for, video games. Some of these games are insane, showing a ton of dedication, time, research, programming skill, it's incredible. Sonic racing games, hell yeah, that's more like it. Pretty solid, look at that, seems to even have multiplayer. How about Sonic fighting games? Oh hell yeah, look at this shit. Looks super polished, dude. Well, how about this one? Sonic Gather Battle It's a fighting game developed by Lemina Dan, released in 2014. It's a fairly alright fighting game with Sonic, Mario, Mega Man characters with sprites ripped from Sonic Battle. This game was presented for Sage, Sonic Amateur Game Expo, an event that showcases um, Sonic fan games. And most of them are absolutely gorgeous. The thing is, this guy made some custom sprites or OCs or shit. And he really, really, really fucking didn't want anyone stealing that shit. So this person released an update that added a DRM to the game. Which was basically fucking malware. It was actual fucking malware. If you wanted to check the innards of the game, or even just type cheat on your browser, the fucking DRM will detect it and fuck with your computer. Making the game go crazy and basically holding your computer hostage until you can prove your innocence to the guy. Needless to say, this guy was fucking booted out of the community, banned from Sage, his sprites were rightfully ripped and shared online. And like, dude, come on, they're not even like big changes. What the hell, dude? If you want to check a little bit more of what this fucking virus does to you, I'm going to link you to this video. All right, you know, fuck it. This is just a cringy. I can just end things right here. I think you get the picture. One thing you must understand is that the fandom has been going strong since the 90s, and there's a huge number of people involved. Some good, some bad, some awful, some great. You can't really just pack them all together, since it's been going on for so long and it had so many different players. It would be just wrong to label all of them as bad. Yes, there's periods and shit like the ones I just talked, but there's also some really good stuff. And just to show you, next video I'll be looking over the good part of the fandom, which includes a lot more good things than bad. Till the next time, stay safe, boys.